it is the last day, and I am, of course, at a piano, but, I mean, it's, I don't know, I don't know the perspective I've been giving you at Kalamazoo, but it's, it's more than just walking around playing pianos, it's more than just going to lectures, and the last day is always bittersweet. I mean, you're happy, you get to go home, you can stop sleeping in these reasonably terrible dorm rooms, you can go back, you, you got work to do, you go back to your life, but you leave behind a lot of people that you know you're not going to see for at least another year. And, I mean, it's not just lectures, it's not just running around playing pianos, it's not just, you know, it's the pseudo-society, which is a hilarious lecture series. It's, for me this year, it's talking about zombie movies with a professor from New York. It's singing along with Joe Rickey and two dozen other people. It's embarking on new projects with friends, reevaluating old ones, and meeting all kinds of awesome people. And most importantly, I think for all of us, it's that being an academic can be really isolating. I mean, I always joke about how you've got to be a special kind of crazy to, to just be that obsessed with, with research. Whether, whether it's philosophy, whether it's engineering, whether it's history, it doesn't matter. Like, you've got to, you have your, your, your thing, your, your passion. I mean, we're not talking about the thing that, oh, you know, your hobby that you did for, for 20 years. We're talking about your life's work. This is your livelihood. This is what makes you tick. And you will do it forever. And it's hard to get people who don't do that to understand what that's like. And here, in Kalamazoo, with the International Congress of Medieval Studies, I mean, medievalists get to come and they get to be with 3,000 people who understand them. 3,000 people who, when, when you sit down across from them and you say, you know, I was... I, I would have done that, but I was up until four in the morning uh, trying to translate the, the three sentences um, and just really nail it. They, they get it. I mean, they, they understand the fascination that you have. They understand why it's important to study the past. You don't have to justify it to them. They just smile and tell you about what they're working on. You know, it's the thing that makes them talk faster. And in a world where it gets increasingly, if you, or you, in a world where you feel increasingly isolated with, with budgets shrinking and departments shrinking and more and more people in the media questioning the value of, of humanities, it's, it's great to spend time with people who understand the value. You don't have to defend it from immediately. And... These are some absolutely amazing people. And that, that's why I, I keep wanting to come back. It's not lectures. It's not even pianos. It's, it's these people who are persistently uncovering our past and learning new things and trying to, to learn those and apply to the present. So I, of course, have a song for that. I'm going to play out Kalamazoo. And when next you see me, well, it will probably be headshots, and I will definitely be at home. Because this is my road trip for at least the next three months.
to piano to sing-alongs to pseudo lectures to playing magic in this room all, all last night and beating people's pants off this is the thing that reminds us why we do what we do and why it's important and I will see you here next year Thanks to everybody for watching. Thanks to everybody I met. Liberty and Ruth and Danny and everybody who's awesome. And thanks to the University of Western Michigan for putting this on every year and putting up 3,000 scholars who are, well, well, pretty crazy. I'll see you guys later.